right, so this is what I got. It's, I don't know how to pronounce that, Aovase? I don't know. Um, basically, it is, um, you know, Chinese cheapo knockoff. Uh, it's so much of a knockoff that it has Bluetooth, but they're not allowed to use the Bluetooth logo. That's actually their Bluetooth logo. It's BT in a, in a blue circle, which I thought was pretty funny. Uh, so let's just... Uh, open this up and see um, what comes with the radio so basically uh, also I should point out that the reason why I picked this one is because I know uh, that the radio in the um, Acti is a very shallow radio it's not the deep ones that are probably three times uh, deeper than this one um, also this one has a um, um, built-in speakers which I know are gonna sound like crap I mean they're literally like one and a quarter inch speakers so I could only imagine but in any case um, looks like the uh, wiring should be pretty straightforward it looks like it has an antenna wire um, the ground wire uh, and an auxiliary wire or I'm sorry the, this one must be constant 12 volts I think it's the yellow one the red one must be uh, ignition source and um, the black one is ground I'm not sure what the blue one is for um, but I gotta read the instructions and then you got your uh, your these are probably for the speakers your audio inputs and this is the antenna um, just looking at the face of it um, it looks like it has a mute button feature uh, it has a mp3 player Bluetooth hook and also micro SD card uh, connection right there. Let me see here. Yeah, so it has your buttons to select the next song. I guess if you have an auxiliary input, the bezel on the screen looks like it. Uh, it's also the tuning um, wheel, which is kind of cool. Or maybe it could be the volume. Oh no, it says right there volume. So the bezel of the screen is actually the volume, and uh, I guess to tune. You must have to use these uh, forward and reverse buttons, and there must be like a, a a source button where you would switch through whether you want to have a regular radio or a, um, one of the auxiliary inputs. So 
I think when Honda installed these radios, they were not designed to be removed. <laughs> uh, so you could see that's what's, I removed the one on the side, but there's another gold screw in the back of the stereo. There's no way to get access to that. Um, even if I were to remove this piece here, it's it's a Phillips head. So, I, I mean, I, I just don't see how you would get access to that. Uh, on this side, it's completely covered. You can see here. Uh, I tried to remove the screws that hold this uh, ashtray metal component here. Um, and you could see it's the radio is mounted to something that's mounted to this as well. But um, just got to find a way to get that gold screw out now without access from the back. So. a little bit creative so this is what's left of the radio you see that hole in the back so that's how I got access to the screw I actually used this uh, hole saw I had to remove the hole saws usually have a drill bit in, in the middle I had to remove that and then I was able to drill out the actual plate that the or the back of their stereo that the set screw is uh, screwed onto and then with uh, Having no radio there now, I was able to sneak my hands in there and use this little um, thumb, uh, thumb drive. Thumb drive? Hmm. Uh, I don't think it's a thumb drive. I think it's a thumb screwdriver or whatever. But anyway, I was able to uh, get access to the screw. So that, that was probably 100% of the job is just getting the radio out. They really designed it to not rattle, stay in there. Even had this nice rubber gasket around it so that there's no rattling. Uh, I actually kept this because I think uh, I might be able to use it on the new radio. Um, so uh, next is going to be to wire, wire the new radio up and drop it in. All right, so uh, next step uh, is to probe. So there's a four plug connector that was connected to the old radio. So I have four wires here that I need to connect, but remember uh, this, okay, so this blue one I found out was for the power antenna, which we don't have to worry about. So this is constant 12 volts and it has a fuse, inline fuse. This is gonna be uh, ignition and this is gonna be ground. So I gotta just find out which one of those is what. And then uh, this black plug is gonna be for your antenna. Uh, I'm hoping it's the same. I think these are usually pretty universal. Yeah, same diameter. Um, and then the only other thing is these two wires, um, which would power the speakers, I'm thinking. So this is like right and left uh, uh, connector. So I'm going to avoid that for now uh, and see if there's another way to connect it. But um, for right now, I just want to get the radio powered up and. Uh, so I could at least use those functions.
All right, guys, so a couple of problems. Uh, number one, um, this is the plug that went into the original radio. It's got four wires. I've narrowed it down to uh, one is ground, one is power uh, or uh, accessory power. So when you turn the key to the on position, you get a voltage. So um, I connected, I crimped on some spade connectors onto the aftermarket radio. And uh, you know, the black is the ground, which also matches the black on the connector. Um, and then red, is for uh, accessory power that matches on the radio. It's red on the mini truck. It's white, uh, yellow with a red stripe. So connect that. And then you need a constant 12 volts, which um, does not come through here. So, but I do have a, uh, a red connector that I used for my uh, USB port uh, so that provides me 12 volts of power. Uh, the problem is I can't get the radio to turn on. So, I checked with the voltmeter. Uh, I am getting power, I am getting ground, but for some reason the radio will not turn on. So either I have a defective radio or I just don't understand. So I, you could see the, the numbers show very faintly and then they go away. So, you know, and even when I turn on the truck, Been sitting for a while so I had to crank over a couple of times but um, there's just no you know doesn't turn on so I, I'm thinking this is defective uh, I bought a bad thing I mean this was 29 bucks uh, and uh, it's a $29 paperweight the way I see it the other thing I gotta see I also checked to see if the fuse was in here was good and it is um, the other thing is what I'm a little bit confused by is the other two wires I'm assuming is signal wires for the speakers uh, let me turn this back off uh, signal wires for the speakers but there's two speakers right one on each door and there's only two wires and you know the way I'm used to doing this is there's a positive and a negative or a power and the ground button for each speaker uh, this is more for the modern cars that use these connectors uh, but this is an older car, so it has, you know, you have to do the traditional speaker wire that goes to the speakers. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to remove one of the door cards and see uh, what wires are going to those speakers and see if uh, they match any of the colors on the back here. All right, so I removed the door card and I uh, removed the four screws that hold the speaker. And you could see it's a gray and gray wire with a black stripe and blue wire with, I think, a green stripe. And if you look at the connector, that's what the colors on this uh, connector. So you got your, um, your ground wire, your um, red and yellow wire, which is your accessory power. And then you, ha you see there the, the, the gray with the black stripe and the blue wire for your speakers. Um, so the reason why there's only two is because this has mono sound, not stereo sound, which makes sense because it only had an AM uh, radio. So uh, I don't think AM is transmitted in uh, stereo. I think that's what makes FM uh, what it is. It's that it's stereo transmission. So what I'm going to do is... Um, Again, I think this uh, this radio is going to be junk. Uh, I did look, and there's radios for about the same price for 30 bucks that have a pigtail connector here that will have wires for the speakers instead of these connectors here. Um, I could probably splice these uh, into the speaker wire, but the problem with this radio is that it's not even turning on. So um, if I can get it to turn on, it's basically, like I said, uh, it's not even a good paperweight because it doesn't weigh anything. Uh, but I'm going to get a, a replacement stereo, something that's also compact and small like this, 
that will have a pigtail in the back uh, that will have uh, multiple wires for the different speaker connections and instead of these uh, I call these RCA connectors because uh, I think that's where you first saw them but um, since I have the door card off what I'm already gonna do is I'm gonna remove that one too I'm gonna run new speaker wire uh, to the center console so that when the new radio comes in I could connect the sound has in, in stereo and maybe in the future I'll even replace these speakers um, the only thing is this is a very unique uh, shape here so um, I can't really go bigger but maybe I could just get something that's a little bit more updated and better because this is obviously very very cheap I could tell it weighs nothing so the magnet in there must be super super weak so uh, again this is just to have something that's a little bit more updated it's not like a high fidelity sound system I just want to get something that maybe has Bluetooth connection and um, FM radio so uh, this is a uh, I actually found this I, I don't remember even buying this I've had this laying around for a while but it's speaker wire looks like I have 30 feet of it and it already comes with the uh, you it already comes with the the male I'm sorry the positive and negative on there um, I think the copper is the positive and the 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 bright finish one is the negative I think that's how usually it goes so I'm gonna run a uh, wire from there I'm gonna see I don't think I could feed it through this but uh, I'm gonna try to maybe just put it next to it and just tape it up uh, and then have uh, female connectors here ready for the, to accept the speaker and then I'm gonna do the same thing running to the other door and then hopefully get a new radio in here that actually turns on All right, so I got the uh, new wires uh, for the speakers hooked up. Um, I uh, I put some heat shrink on it on this part here that's exposed. I'm gonna put some tape um, around these uh, nipples here on the um, on the grommets. It, it had electrical tape there previously. I removed it. Um, I don't know if it's because these have like a split, so it's kind of to keep it watertight or not. But I'm just gonna do it the way they had it. I ran the wires behind the uh, sh partial shelf here and it's uh, out here I'm not gonna crimp these connectors yet because I, I have to wait till the radio to come in because I want to see if I should put a female or a male terminal on there so I'm gonna wait till I buy that new radio and then surprise surprise walked over to this side removed the door card and no speaker so this is absolutely mono sound I thought somehow the wires maybe split the signal to come over to a speaker here but there's no speaker there and you could see the grommet uh, the holes for the grommets are actually blocked off so um, you know I never even noticed that so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna run new wire or an, um, a new speaker wire to kind of do what I 
mirrored on that side and bring a wire to the center console so hopefully between that and now I'm thinking I really should buy some uh, speakers I'm gonna measure the size of this one to see if I could get something that fits without me having to modify um, any of the fittings I, I, I just I could put some uh, spring clips in here so I could uh, put some threaded screws to hold the speaker in place um, but that's basically the plan now is to get a, a small set of speakers but in the meantime I'm gonna run the wire so that when I get the uh, head unit I could connect it all together I went on uh, Amazon and I got some new speakers um, to replace the well to replace the factory one, but also so I could have two speakers instead of just one and have some actual stereo instead of mono sound. Um, this is what I got. It's a uh, pile. I figured I would try to stick with the brand that's known uh, instead of all those unknown Chinese brands, just because. Um, you really don't know what you get with speakers. They're so cheap to manufacture nowadays. So that's the part number, uh, PL42BL. And the reason why I picked these was strictly on size. So this is what's called the four inch speaker. And uh, that's what it looked like the, the mini truck uses. So this is the OEM speaker. See, um, it's a very shallow, it, it, it very light because uh you know it's not a um a heavy duty speaker but it is a clarion uh brand speaker and um which clarion is also a very well known company so this is the new speaker and you could see the size difference of that uh magnet in there uh that's what's really going to give us a lot of sound also uh we're not going to use the speaker grill but you can see it's got a built-in tweeter um, and uh, the best thing about it is if I were to line up these holes you can see they line up perfectly so uh, this should be a straight bolt-on with one exception uh, you could see how much bigger the speaker is in depth and I think this will have actually interfere with the window roll-down mechanism uh, so I might have to uh, use some sort of spacer to bring this out from the face door uh, but I have to be careful because it, if it comes out too much it'll, it'll uh, interfere with the door card um, I do have a, a backup plan for that though if I have to I am willing to cut uh, the round hole out of the door uh, panel because it does come with the speaker grill so that'll be my last uh, resort if I have to but I really want to keep the door card without cutting into it. So that's the speaker. And then as far as the radio is concerned, uh, the, I told you the one I had before was an Amazon special. I actually got that one because a lot of people, uh, you know when you go on uh, Amazon and there's like, uh, you know, uh, questions like a Q&A section. Uh, a lot of the people asking questions about it were planning on putting it on the mini truck. Uh, most of them sound like Suzuki carries. So I'm like, well, perfect. And, um, and it was complete garbage. Like it's just not set up for the car. And the reason being is the, the connectors. So this one is, uh, you know, this is one of those no name Chinese specials again, but it is stereo. Um, it, it doesn't have Bluetooth, I don't think. Um, but it does have an mp3 player but it does have and it has FM uh, so I, I understand why people like the other one because of the Bluetooth but um, what I like about this and it has a vintage look to it um, you could see it kind of really fits the the look of an older car but the main reason I got it it's this it's got these pigtails here that allow you to do an old-fashioned wiring connector connection so here's your uh, blue wire for your power antenna 
your black ground wire, your red uh, accessory wire, and your yellow 12 volt constant. And then these are your speakers. So, um, you know, this you could wire up to four speakers with this one. So you got your, you know, positive, negative for um, for four different uh, speakers. Alright guys, installation is complete, um, I uh, put away all the wires, got the radio installed, uh, it does have Bluetooth, I already paired it, it's actually super easy, you just go to Bluetooth setting, you find it on your phone, select it and you're done. It's actually easier than a lot of cars. Just a couple of things, so I did replace the, uh, the terminal, the, the negative terminal on uh, the wire going through the speakers. With these little tiny ones because that's what um, is required for these particular speakers and also the OEM speaker was like that as well so um, I don't, I, it might be a common thing for hooking up speakers um, I also taped the wires down so with the vibration of the speakers because these have a lot more um, the diaphragm is a lot more powerful I don't want them to come undone so I, uh, I taped them on as well uh, the other thing was um, this because it doesn't come with a speaker on the on the driver's door um, there's no nothing to screw into so I bought these little things at uh, advanced auto parts they're just a variety of different kinds of uh, uh, I guess nylon inserts or they call them nylon nuts but uh, the the hole there is square so you got to use one of these square ones so that's what you look for uh, and they work perfectly uh, the other thing too with these is I don't have the door card on yet, but um, I'm hoping I don't have to cut out the door card for the speaker to fit because the factory speaker came inside this housing which stuck out from the door. Uh, you can see it's almost the same amount as these spacers I have here. So I'm hoping that uh, this will fit without any problems without having to cut the original door cards. Uh, the only other thing is to mention is this guy um, uh, So to remove this thing This is the shelf that basically is above the ashtray and the the stereo Connects to the back of this This was a pain the ass to remove. I, I bought a special tool to try to get to these two nuts um, or bolts but you can't you could can see it they the Phillips started to kind of uh, you know just wear out the uh, the little uh, Phillips head on it so uh, I was finally able to get it out with this it's just a uh, six millimeter um, crescent wrench it, it, it took a while to get in there but and you could see I, my hands are full of scratches to try to get that out but it's a pain yes luckily you don't have to take the nuts all the way or the bolts out all the way out if you just undo them enough you could actually slide it out because uh, these uh, bolts slide into a channel and uh, let's see if I'm forgetting anything that's basically it let me just uh, before I end this video I'll just turn on the radio so you could see um, the sound the doors are open so the sounds not going to be as intense but uh, we'll play our theme music here
that's playing on my phone via Bluetooth. So, Alright guys, uh, thank you for watching this video. This took a little bit longer just because uh, the first radio I bought was trashed, didn't even turn on. And at first I thought I was doing something wrong, but I, I couldn't even get it to turn on, not not just um, play music. So in any case, the, the replacement one was uh, about the same price as uh, I think under $30. I did spend a little bit more on the speakers just because some of the reviews of speakers were people saying how uh, these new speakers were worse than their 30 year old speakers. So I just tried to upgrade the speaker a little bit with those pile ones. I tried to go with a brand that I recognize. And um, I'm happy with the, with the radio. It's uh, got all the modern features. It looks vintage. And uh, I mean, I know it's not high tech and it's not high fidelity sound, but it's a hundred times better than what was there. So guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. <music>